Hey guys, Pastor Justin here. Um, I just had a thought for the day. And um, a lot of times I do these on the back porch, but today I happen to be in the car, so I thought I'd share with you kind of what was on my mind. Um, you know, I was thinking about uh, this thought uh, that was shared by a guy named Levi Lesko. He's a pastor. Uh, and he said these words, and it really stuck with me and impacted me. And he said, death is either taking you from your treasure or to your treasure. And uh, I just want to think about that today. And I was, I was reading a story in John chapter 11, and it was talking about Jesus resurrecting uh, his friend Lazarus and uh, bringing him out of the tomb. And one of the things that um, we remember from that story is the, the shortest Bible verse in the Bible, which is Jesus wept, John eleven thirty five. And, uh, you know, I was, I was thinking about why did Jesus weep? Um, you know, and the Pharisees that were standing around watching and his friends, you know, they kind of had different theories. One theory that the Pharisees had was he was weeping because he, he really cared about Lazarus, and he did. Um, and then another theory was, well, he's weeping because uh, he's healed other people, and uh, but he can't heal Lazarus because he's dead. Um, you know, and I kind of thought about that in terms of that statement from Levi Lesko uh, about death is either taking you to your treasure away from it. Maybe one of the reasons why Jesus wept was because Jesus knew what he was calling Lazarus away from. And that Lazarus had already been dead for three days. He'd already been enjoying the fruit of his faith. And um, he'd already been seeing uh, the streets of gold and uh, the crystal sea and the throne of God and understanding who, you know, what was going on and, and from a heavenly perspective. And, you know, it's possible that Jesus knew that, look, I'm not resurrecting Lazarus because he says it in the chapter, you know, I didn't do this, um, uh, but for any other reason than to glorify God, that, that, um, that the God must be glorified by this act. Um, and so it wasn't for Lazarus. It wasn't for his family. It was to glorify God. And, um, you know, so he brings him back. And, um, you know, I can only imagine what Lazarus felt like, you know, when he came back. You know, I know if it had been me, I'd have been like, what the, what in the world? What are you doing? Why did you call me back from paradise back to this place? And, um, I'm sure Jesus had to take a minute to explain that and to say, look, man, uh, God had to, people had to see the power of God and, um, and, and I needed you to carry that and help me with that. And so I'm sure Lazarus understood, but, um, if you think about your life, what is your treasure? What is, what is it that you treasure? Is that the, this world that you treasure that you want your loved ones to be back here? Or you want, you want your life to, to remain here or, trying to preserve it. And, you know, um, a lot of the disciples longed for heaven. And, and the more I live on this earth, the more I long for heaven, the more I long to be there. And I can't imagine uh, not being able to, um, or not being able to stay once I got there. And so um, I just wanted you to think about that today. Um, just a short thought, but uh, where's your treasure? And is death taking you to it or from it? Um, a lot of people are afraid these days, but, uh, you know, the best thing that can happen to me is that I get to be with my savior. So, um, uh, talk to you guys later, but, uh, let me, let me pray for you real quick. God, I come to you. Thank you, Lord, for everybody watching this video. And I just pray that you bless them. God, that you would just challenge them in the word. And I pray that, uh, God, that they, their treasure, God, that they would find their treasure and that that treasure would be Jesus and that treasure would be uh, what's to come. And uh, we thank you so much for everything uh, that you're planning for us and that you're preparing for us in heaven. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, guys. See ya.